Welcome to a 12 tutorial to a beginner's guide on how to Enscape. Let's go over how to utilize the asset library or tools within your Enscape this time. Click the asset library here or use the hotkey L. We can utilize the search bar here by saying grass for example. Well, that doesn't work. So, oh, here it is. All right. We can also use the tags here or change the classification like so and using something else but we have to remove this here and let's use street pops for now now start off with selecting any of the assets available to us Let's pick out something small like this rubbish bin over here. Now let's zoom in like so. Notice how our asset automatically snaps to wherever we hover our pointer. Simply click to place. Let's choose another one. Now, we're just placing as many assets as we need. Once done, we just click Apply Changes. Avoid doing rapid clicks and be patient with your placements. Now, in order for us to move or even scale our place assets, we have to use one of these buttons right here. Let's start off with a translate button. Select our asset, which is this one. Notice how we have a new icon in front of us. And here, at the bottom bar, you will see some input numbers or text boxes that we can alter. One is x-axis, which is this one. y-axis, which is this. The z-axis. Lastly, the rotation. Or we can simply click here in the middle if you do it so carefully and we have a free movement. So let's play around with it and try increasing the Y axis and put it in the next level here like so. All right. And if you choose another one like this telephone booth, same thing applies. Notice how it's kind of in a low poly visual that's because it's, we've moved this one. Once I click Apply Changes, it will now go back to what it was initially. There. Next, we use the Scale button, which is this one. Scale button is kind of self-explanatory if you play around with it like so. There. Now, just click Apply Changes. Let's give something else a try. Something large like a, a vehicle, for example. Let's place it over here. Let's start off with an ambulance. Apply Changes. Now, let's go to Scale once more. Click our asset, which is the ambulance, and let's increase in size. And that's it. Pretty easy. So, for questions and suggestions, please do comment below. And if you enjoyed or find this tutorial helpful, do support me by liking and subscribing. I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much, guys.